Hi guys, my name is Bree. Thanks so much for coming back and watching my channel. I am filming today a collab video that Sarah of All Manner of Inspiration and my sister Darren of the, the co-head of the Royal Arts team are doing together. And we are doing a what's in our bag video, our oil bag that we carry around with us in our purse. And so I'm just gonna jump right in. So this is my bag that I carry. This is uh, handmade by women, I believe in Ecuador. Or uh, Yes, I believe it's Ecuador. Um, I bought it at an oil convention. And so I have all of my oils in there that I carry in my bag. So I'm just gonna pull one out and let's just see how it goes. So the first one that's sticking up the uh, highest is Deep Relief. And I love this one. You guys have seen me watch this or use this in a vlog. Oh, it just smells amazing. It's just incredible. I love that one. The second one I'm gonna pull out is Val Valor. This is the original Valor. It's out of stock right now, so sorry. But if you have this one, consider yourself lucky. There is a Valor 2, which is similar, although I'm gonna pull out another one that I think is more similar. Um, called Sacred Frankincense, I, or uh, sorry, Sacred Mountain. I think it's more similar to Valor, the original Valor than Valor 2, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, Valor, I'm sure you have all know what the blend is, but if you don't, well, I'll just read it to you. It is spruce, rosewood, blue tansy, and frankincense. So this one, Oh, this one smells amazing too. You can see it's kind of blue. This oil is um, not like a typical oil color. It is blue when it comes out, bluish purple. The next one, and this, these two, I have labels, so I need to label the others because labels, when you use essential oils and you're you know, carrying them in your purse and you want quick access on labels on the top of your bottle, man, those things will change your life. <laughs> So, uh, and you can order them on the website. They're like, I don't know, $5, $3, something like that. The next one, peppermint. This is a staple. Every day, use it. I used it in oil hack to, um, there was a weird smell in my car. So I put some of that on the air, air vent. Um, this, I put it in my water. I put it in coffee. I really love it in coffee. It's great for lots of things. Lots and lots and lots of uses. The next one I keep in my bag, everyday bag, is grapefruit. This one is, it's very citrusy, it's very light and uplifting. Oh, someone's calling me. What just happened there? Something happened on my phone, really kind of weird. That was really strange. It's like Siri came on and did something, but I didn't. I wasn't even messing, I don't know, that was weird. Okay, so the rest in here are not labeled. So see, like you can really, like this, as opposed to like knowing what it is right away, get yourself some labels. Um, Thieves, this is, I always carry this one. Love this one for many, many uses. Um, oh, this one is amazing, it's rosemary clove, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus, lemon. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm out of order. I'll just go in order. Clove, yes, clove, lemon, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus, and rosemary. I was right. Uh, so thieves, I love, always, always love thieves. Hi, Georgie. Hi. Georgie's down here. Hello. Um, let's see. Okay, this is one of my new absolute favorites, Sacred Mountain. That will focus. Oh, this one is just, oh, it just smells just amazing. I just love it. It's black. It, these two, um, Valor, this one has the spruce and the rosewood and the blue tansy, at least the spruce. I really like these tree oils. I've discovered I really like the tree ones. I'm not, I'm not so keen on the floral. I know, sorry. I had to, like, you know, when you have bangs, it's like, what do you do with bangs? Um, uh, tree oils. 
This one has black spruce, ylang ylang, balsam, canada, and cedarwood. I love all of those. Oh, it just is really inviting. It's very inviting. And I think all of the others are, yes, my Vitality, my new Vitality line oils. So I've had these for about a week maybe. And I replaced them right away. This one is orange. Oh, I love orange. I absolutely love orange. These are compliantly used for um, internal consumption. Orange, orange is one of the oils that makes me feel better. It makes me in a better mood. I can tell right away, I can tell right away, if not, yeah, sorry, if, if not right away, I can tell the moment when the oil has helped me to calm down or change my mood. Uh, it's very sweet. Well, it's not sweet like candy, but it's very citrusy sweet, and so it just smells... Um, I don't know any other terms besides that, except that it's like the... To me, it's the perfect blend of sweet and citrus. I, I mean, oranges, I love oranges anyway, but I just really love the orange oil. And it's pretty cheap, too. I think it's like between, I don't know, 11 and $20 for wholesale. The next one I have in here, Citrus Fresh. And I discovered, because this one is spearmint, yeah. So I discovered there's spearmint in Citrus Fresh. And I think that I prefer peppermint because citrus, um, spearmint, it smells a little gummy to me, like it smells like spearmint gum. Whereas peppermint just smells straight up mint, like mintha. Um, you know, any kind of rubs or just straight mint, like the mint um, plant, you know, when you put that in your tea or whatever. This one is really nice. It's citrusy, but yet it has, I wish they would make citrus fresh with peppermint. In fact, I might blend these two. This would be a great blend so that it's like citrus, but minty. So these two are gonna become good friends, I think. <laughs> so then this one, the last one that I've put in here is Spearmint. And I do like this one, it's just not my favorite mint. I mean, it's okay. Yeah, it smells like gum to me. It smells like Spearmint gum, as opposed to the mint smells like different, you know, just straight up mint. But this one, I don't know that I would repurchase this one right away. Um, I would probably go for the peppermint. Um, what's the other one? Wintergreen, probably, as opposed to spearmint. But the other two oils that I keep in my purse, just not in my bag because it doesn't fit, is White Angelica. White Angelica. I do not recommend smelling White Angelica after you've smelled Sacred Mountain because it, I mean, it's like polar opposites. They do not mix. <laughs> They're not, uh, I don't think they go together at all. It smells really different, like after you've smelled a tree-based oil as opposed, or tree-based blend as opposed to like a floral blend. Um, I think they smell really different, but there's so many oils in White Angelica. I mean, that's the ingredient list of oils. And so you can pause it here so you can read it. But um, yeah, there's just so many. But it's a great, I really like this one for perfume. Um, and the other one is the one that, one of the ones that was released at convention, which is Northern Lights Black Spruce. Uh, I just I just really love the tree ones. I think it reminds me of cold weather and being in the mountains and uh, I just really like the tree ones. Um, and I wanted to, oh that was the oven, I wanted to also say that I am wearing my diffuser bracelet. Let me take this one off so you can see it better. But this is my favorite piece of um, oily jewelry. And so these lava rocks, let's see, you can't see that at all. 
these lava rocks right here, this is where you drop the oil. And so, in fact, I'll do it on camera. What am I gonna choose? Where's Sacred Mountain? So here, so basically what I do is I just do this and I drop it like that onto the lava rock and then I just run the bracelet around my you know, wrist so that all the rocks, the lava rocks will soak up that oil and then you've got a diffuser bracelet that you can wear throughout the day. And this one is by Oily Armed. She is on Etsy and um, I believe the woman that runs it is named Michelle or Melissa. Um, we emailed once uh, back and forth around Christmas, before Christmas, and I believe her name is Melissa, but I th just think her bracelets are really beautiful. I think they're well made and they're pretty. Some of the ones that I've seen, they just have the lava rocks on there. I'm like, well, that's just like a, I don't know, black bracelet, a black rock bracelet. I don't know. I didn't, I like this one the best, this company and her styles. Anyway, so I just wanted to quickly share that because that is something that I haven't shown before, but I really uh, like this. And it's a great way to diffuse your oils throughout the day if you don't can't use a diffuser at work or you know you don't have a, a necklace or something um, it's a great way to do that so anyway those are all of the oils well oh, I put two of them back in here I'm trying to take them out uh, I'm sorry if this feels a little rushed it is Easter weekend and I'm trying to cook and get ready for Easter tomorrow. I had a baby shower for my nephew today or sip and see. So it's just been super busy, but uh, that is all of the oils in the bag that I carry in my purse. And so I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, go check out Sarah's video to see what oils she carries during the day and go check out Darren's video to see what she carries in the day. And I think there will probably be crossovers and um, different ones that we are the same ones that we use for different reasons that's kind of interesting and different ones that we need to carry with us during the day thank you so much for watching visit royalarts.com if you have any oily questions or you want to get in touch with me uh, you can find my information there and you can find Darren's information there and Sarah's channel is called all manner of inspiration so definitely go check out her video and I will talk to you guys in the next one thanks a lot bye